of the ability to think. All right, so please open up your Quran and let's go deal with the mind real quick and I'll show you this one, what Jesus did. So let's go to chapter, uh, uh, what is this, X, um, uh, chapter 15? Yeah, chapter 15. Divine ministry of Jesus. Jesus goes to the wilderness for self-examination. Where he remains for 40 days, is subject to three temptations, he overcomes, returns to the camps of John, and begins teaching. We're going to leave this up real quick as we go through this. So you can understand that this science is ancient. And everybody does it. But to become conscious of how it operates allows you to be the conscious uh, uh, one on the chessboard moving the pieces and, and, and uh, are, uh, instead of someone push the piece on you and you react. Most people are reacting and then moving on the chessboard of life. That allows you to be subject to an open attack because you're reacting. You could be reacting into a trap. You understand? You can't be a reactionary all your life. You have to be able to see things for what they are, not what they appear to be. And this is the only way for you to do it because it's dealing with your brain, how you process information. All right, so here we go. Is everybody there? Islam. Right. Islam. Good stuff, right. good stuff. So here we go. Uh, um, all right, so let's start number two. No, we can start number one. The harbinger had paved the way. The logos had been introduced to men as love made manifest. You guys got to peep this out. <laughs> anyway, and he must now begin his divine ministry. This is the bombest chapter. This is you. This is me. This is all of us at one time. Maybe you can get the formula, what I just gave you, in which Jesus is now been to express how he won. And you can do it too. All right. And number two, and this is where it begins. And he went forth into the wilderness. Is that wilderness? What yes. Okay. Thank you. My, my eyes just jumped for a minute. I'm like, am I saying that right? All right, so, and he went forth into the wilderness to be alone with Allah. Ooh, listen to this, you guys. Please pay attention that he might look into his inner heart. Where's the nearest place you can meet Allah? I ain't gonna meet Allah. Heart. In your heart. In your heart. All right now, that's right. He must look into his inner heart and notice its strengths and worthiness. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna read a little bit down to seven, then we're gonna come back and bust this down. And with himself, he talked. Oh, wow. He, he said, my lower self. So who's talking right now? Then? Allah. Which is, which is higher self. Obviously, it's higher self talking, right? All right, so, okay. So he said, who, the higher said, my lower self is strong. And you were right when you said Allah says, by many ties, I am bound down to carnal life. Goodness gracious. Now peep him out, peep him out. Have I, woo hoo hoo hoo, there's the why. Have I the strength to overcome? He's speaking future. Have I the strength to overcome and give my life to willing sacrifice for men? When I shall stand forth before the face of men and they demand a proof of my messiahship, what shall I say? And then the tempter came and said, if you be the son of Allah, command these stones to turn to bread. And Jesus said, who is it that demands a test? It is no sight, uh, sign that Allah, excuse me, that, uh, that one, is a son of Allah because he doeth miracles. The devils can do mighty things. Now, did not the Gentile musicians do great things before Pharaoh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the whole thing, the whole chapter here. My words, now peep him out on nine. 
my words and deeds in all the walks of life shall be the proof of my messiahship. And then the tempter said, if you will go into Jerusalem and from the temple, pentacles, cast down yourself to earth. In other words, kill yourself. Okay. The people will believe you are a messiah sent from Allah. This you can surely do, for did not David say that he gives angels charge over concerning you, and with their hands they will uphold, lest you shall fall. And Jesus said, I we will not. Mm, 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 resolution. I will not tempt the Lord, my God Allah. And then the tempter said, look forth upon the world. Behold its honors and its fame. Behold its pleasures and its wealth. If you will give your life to these, they shall be yours. But what did Jesus say? But Jesus said, away. Oh, man. Anyway, from me, with all tempting thoughts, my heart is fixed. I spurn these carnal, I spurn this carnal self. Hey, man, you can pinpoint who he is. With all its vain ambitions and its pride. Right now, this part for 40 days did Jesus wrestle with the carnal self? Carnal self, his higher self prevailed. He then was hungry. Now, I'm gonna stop right there. We're gonna go back a little bit, all right? Because everything I just told you just, just took place. Did you see it? Who, who's seen it? Everything we were just speaking on just took place. The what was answered. The why, the who, and the how. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's look at it. Since no one's seen it yet, we're going to go to it then. All right, so let's look at number... First, let's start how he, how he went into himself. All right, so, uh, and he went, forward, he went forth into the wilderness to be alone with Allah. In other words, you need to go into silence. You need to go where it's quiet. You need to go somewhere where you're not gonna be disturbed. Be game on this. That he might look into his inner heart. You looking within, he's looking within. Did he start screaming to the mountaintop and look up into the sky? No, he did not. Did he look at a preacher and start saying, ooh, whoop -de whoop No, he did not. He went within. Was it with a gang of show? Did he have to put on a, a pimp suit? Did he have to put on something, you know, some fly hat? Mm-mm. He went in. All right. So, uh, he may look within his inner heart, which is your mind, guys and note its strengths, because he's here to be the strength of Allah. But what did he say? His strengths and worthiness. What are your strengths? What are your worthiness? What are your strengths? Your higher self. Okay, that's a general answer. Now, I want you to give me 10 strengths that of you that you have right now. Heart, mind, soul. No, you, you missed it. All right. Okay, I hear what you're saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Charisma. Mean. Mathematics. Okay, listen to what I'm saying, you guys. He said he went, he went into note his strengths and his worthiness. Same thing that you must do. What one are, of my strengths is faith. Okay, praise Allah. There you go. One of my strengths. Is the uh, ability to stick to it until it's in. Doing strong right. Turn the lights down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ability to learn from my weakness. It's long. So the ability to understand. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a strength. The ability, to listen. the ability to listen. That's a great strength. So the ability to, to communicate. There you go. Right? Now, what are you, here's the harder question. Because those are good that you can come in naturally and have. Some people are naturally good 
musicians because they come in with a perfect ear. But what have, have you made it worthy? Have you, now that you can tell me your strengths, where have you made it worthy? <laughs> you know, what you do with it, in other words? Where it, are the results on the plane of manifest that we could see the worthiness? Because you can tell us anything. A man can say anything and tell you anything. Nurturer of my children. Following the prophet. That's the strength. What, okay, what's the difference between the strength and worthiness? The spirit of being. So for, somebody go look it up. Let's do the basic stuff. Give me a definition of worthiness and give me a definition of strength. And we're going to come back. Islam, Grand Gov. Yes, sir. Strength is the ability. The worthiness is the proof. Islamism. There you go, man. That's right. That's really simple on how you said it and it's 100% on point. You know what I mean? So the strength is the ability. The worthiness is the proof. All right? Uh, activity, results willpower in action praise Allah who just put that in there thank you right so this is the part that you got to ask yourself this is the part where most people want to see sometimes you want to tell yourself in front of other people don't ever do this in front of other people tell someone you're worthless in front of other people because the lower self's going to kick in because you don't want to seem embarrassed you must tell this when no one's looking this is the integrity part about you. You must understand your worthiness and your strength when no one's looking and admit to you what the hell you are worthy on. And stop gaslighting yourself if you ain't got no worthiness. It is the first step to worthiness to understand that you need to get some, god dang it. Too many times we be gaslighting our own self like we more than what we are. And there's nothing wrong with being where you are. The greatest sin is thinking like you something who you're not. You see it? Right? So, now look what he does here. So, look what he says here. He says, have I. This is number four. This is the why. He's asking about purpose. Why is another, another thing of why is purpose? Have I the strength? Do you see what he told himself first and foremost? He accepted himself, let's go to three. And with himself he talked and he said, my low, look what he told himself, he did not lie to himself. My lower self is strong, he told himself. Some of y'all be like, oh man, I got my low. Like you got your low, huh? Yeah, right. And then look what he told himself though. By many ties, I am bound down. Now I could be. He accepted who the hell he was with the bound, with all of his carnal being bound down. He didn't lie to himself that one time. I'm here to tell you, man, men, this is the strength, brother. When you don't lie to yourself about who the heck you are and where you at in life, no matter what. Nobody told you, you got to be out there standing in front of somebody where you can become embarrassed, where the lower self want to creep up and try to protect itself because it's a safe keeper part about you. But this is when you got to release all and tell the truth of what's going on. And then you're going to see your path clearer. It's when you faking like you something, my friend. It's when you, the universe will give you nothing but fakery. You'll find you fake your whole life away because that's all you've put out there. Keep it out. Have I, I mean, excuse me, by many ties, I am bound down to carnal life. That's the first thing you must do is accept who you are. If you want to go talk to Allah, you better accept where you are. What did he do? He went to a quiet place. What's the first thing he told himself? The truth. He didn't hit himself with a fantasy ass uh, a resume. Like he talking to somebody else out there trying to get a job. Uh, uh, exaggerating the truth a little bit like everybody does a little bit on the resume. But not when you are dealing with you. You fucked up. I told you, you got to tell the world you fucked up. 
boo boo. Hmm. Oh, person. Oh, I got to have it. I'm going to fix that. I apologize. The Bible told no one is telling you to tell the world that you messed up. But you sure got to let yourself know where you at. All right, so people, he did. He taught himself the truth. And then he went into something. He said, I have I. After he told himself the truth, he began to see where he was bound. Then he asked, have I? Future. Why? It's like saying, what's my purpose? Have I the strength to overcome and give my will life a willing sacrifice for me? When I shall stand. Now, when still dealing with a, a particular future or something that happened, right? When I shall stand before the face of men, and then they demand a proof of my Messiah shit. Now, here he goes. What did he ask? What? There's the why. There's the what. Are you looking at it? What will I say? In other words, the reason self, his reason self over here in A quadrant, his reason self, right? He's looking for the reason at this time. Remember where he's at, y'all. He's in his mind. He's in his brain. He ain't talking to no spook ass devil like they want to lie to you and pop up out the damn ground. That man is dealing with the brain, his mind right now. He in the wilderness, which means there's a still wild part of his mind that he needs to deal with. It's called the carnal part. So what did he do? He asked what, what will I say? That's the reason part of his mind. The technician trying to figure it out. Then he goes on to say six. And then the tempter came, his carnal self, and said, if you be the son of Allah, command these stones to turn to bread. And why did he, why did he say bread? Why did he say bread? Because the tempter's slick. But did everybody catch it? He said bread is because on verse number 16, it says he was hungry. 40 days did Jesus wrestle with his carnal self, his higher self prevailed, he then was hungry because he was fasting. So what did the, what did the tempter do? He offered him some bread to, te to tempt him away from his fast, the physical thing that he's doing, not a fantasy thing in his mind, he's on a fast to deal with his low. So the first thing the tempter came up with him, man, go and have a steak, honey. Man, go and blow a blunt, man. You, you did good. You deserve it. You the best. Tempted with some bread, some food. And Jesus said, who? There you go. So now we got the what, the why, and now here's the who. Where's the who? On the emotional part. Why? Because now he's dealing with a relationship. What relationship? His carnal self. He's dealing with these emotions himself. And who can't, and so who is that that demands a test? Is it no sign that the son of our law because he does miracles? The devil can do mighty things. But he asked the who. And then number nine, he can how again. My words and deeds, that's the how. That is his organization part of his brain coming in on, on, on verse nine. My words and deeds and all the walks of life shall be the proof of my Messiahship. That's how. And then 12 through 15 is the resolution where he stands after he's answered every single Thing that the brain must have to move forward to find success, he answered it. And then what did he say? I will not. Away from me. He ain't questioning no more. His questions have ended. He's got the strength now. Can you not see it? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, are y'all seeing that or did I go too far? Islam. Your point. Islam. 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 He's not asking no more questions, man. 
He is now commanding. In other words, he is the cause of his reality. He ain't, he, he, the tempter didn't came. In other words, his love, it could be uh, 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 anybody. And what did he, he answered all the questions. And then there was no more to answer. And he told his love, shut up, fool. I'm in control of this. No, I'm not going to be in my carnal nature no more. No, I don't have to stay ignorant. No, I don't have to fall for the okie doke no more. No, I don't have to stay being broke, being homeless, poor. For those are conditions of the mind. 